Hi my loves, today I am back with a very exciting video. I am going to be doing a Q&A, answering all of your questions that you guys asked me. I put up a picture on my Instagram and I did tweet about it as well. So I got a bunch of questions from you guys. So if you guys don't follow me on social media already, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links for that will be down below. Um, so then you guys can be involved in the next Q&A and get all of your questions answered. But I'm going to just try and answer as many questions as possible that you guys did ask. So this video is probably going to be pretty long. Bear with me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get into it. I'm really, really excited to actually sit down and talk with you guys because I feel like I do a lot of makeup tutorials and... I typically do voiceovers with them and it's just not as personal and I want you guys to feel like you actually know me as a person beyond me just putting on my makeup. So that's why I wanted to do this to kind of let you guys in on the other aspects of my life as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into it and answer your question. Okay. So the first one is Vanna Gurley and she asked me if you could only use three makeup products, what would they be? Love you. Well, first of all, love you too. Thank you so much for asking the first question and if I could only use three makeup Makeup products I would definitely choose foundation and I would choose the Mac studio fix fluid in NC 35 and then I would choose probably mascara and I would choose the Too Faced better than sex mascara and then last but not least would be lipstick and I would choose max blankety so those would be my top three Next, foreign barbie asked me what did you use to curl your hair in your january boxycharm video i love that look on you hashtag flawless thank you so so much to do that look i use a one inch curling iron i don't know how to use wands i only use curling iron so i use a one inch curling iron and mine is from hot tool chelsea noel one two three asked me if you could only choose one what would it be fitness or makeup that is really really hard I oh my god that's so hard I really don't know those are like my two like biggest passions in life and having to choose in between I them I guess I would have to say if I could only choose one I would choose fitness because that has to do with your overall health and well-being is as much as I love makeup me being good at applying makeup is not going to prolong my life any longer so I guess Fitness would be my choice. B. Coulson asked me, I know you're almost finished with college, but would you ever consider doing YouTube as your full-time job? Um, that would be amazing if I could do it. As of right now, I could never like actually live off of YouTube or anything like that. I mean, if I got to, you know, maybe a hundred thousand subscribers or I honestly don't even know. Um, but if I could do it for a full-time job, that would be so, so, so amazing. And I would absolutely do it hands down because to me, this isn't work at all. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for anything like that. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, I did not even know that you like could get paid for YouTube. Like I literally have no idea. Um, so if I could be able to make it my full-time job, that would be so amazing. Jordan Peel asked me, how and when did you start doing YouTube? I've been thinking about starting a channel for a year now, but I just don't know where to start. So I started my YouTube channel my sophomore year in college. I would say my freshman year in college was when I started, like I realized that there was this huge beauty community on YouTube and I started watching all these videos. I remember the first person that I watched was Candy Johnson and then I started watching Chow Bella and Nicole Guerrero. Those were like the first three that I ever watched and I just like fell in love with it because I had always liked makeup but I had no idea that there was this huge beauty community on YouTube. So for about a year, over a year, I watched them on YouTube and you know just like literally watched everyone's videos, everything like that and I was like, you know what? I could do that too. Like, I want to do it too. So then I just started like literally filming myself in my dorm sophomore year. It was like horrible quality, so embarrassing. If you go back to like my old videos, they're literally so embarrassing. I still have them up. I should probably delete them. But um, yeah, and I just started it and loved it and stayed. Layla Christian asked me, first and foremost, you're such an inspiration to so many. So thank you for that. What is the best way to manage filming, editing, and finding time to go to the gym on top of finishing college? What's your secret? Well, thank you so much for saying that I'm inspiring. That like, I would have never even really thought that, so thank you so much. That literally means so much to me. As far as the best way to manage filming, editing, and finding time um, to go to the gym and everything while in college, it's hard. I've always been a person, like, I don't like downtime. Like, I don't like just, like, sitting and, like, doing nothing. So, like, every single moment of my day is, like, filled with something. And I'm the type of person where I feel like my entire life is someone rushing me because I'm doing something and then I have something else to do and the person is, like, rushing me to get to the next thing, like... I feel like that's my life because I'm always late and I'm always just like have a billion things to do and it's just because I like don't like downtime like I never just like 
sit down and like watch TV or anything. Like I have like two shows that I like religiously watch. And besides that, I literally am just like, <laughs> like nonstop all day. And that's just like my personality. So for me, it's not even that hard to balance it all. And especially because all those things are things that I like. Like I love fitness. I love making these YouTube videos. I love editing them. So it's like, I want to do it. So it's not like it's something like, you know, reading a textbook that I don't want to do. Um, you know, I want to do it. So it's not really that hard to be honest with you. It's just, I just time manage and I don't really have any downtime, but that doesn't bother me at all. Um, because I love, you know, always having stuff to do, especially stuff that I like like this. My neighbor is like really blasting the jam. So I'm really sorry. I, I really hope it's not that loud for you guys. Scooby Dooby, don't ask me, what's your workout routine like? Well, I actually made a video on this a little less than a month ago, I believe. So I will link that down below for you to Alex check out. Partikel, I think, said, is it hard to balance school, fitness, a relationship, and YouTube? What are your tricks to stay motivated and stress-free? Also, would you ever do weekly or daily vlogs? So I kind of answered the first part of the question before. As far as what are your tricks to stay motivated and stress-free? Um, honestly, fitness is my way that I get my stress out because I do get stressed. Like, don't... Like I love always being busy, but I do get very stressed and fitness is my way out of that. I just put my headphones on and zone out. Like the world is gone when I'm in the gym and that to me is the best feeling in the world because I don't worry about anything. So it's kind of like my escape. So that is definitely my stress reliever. And then as far as would you ever do weekly or daily vlogs, Yes, I would definitely do weekly vlogs. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments and I would do that and thumbs up this video and I'll do weekly vlogs for you guys. Um, as far as daily vlogs, Vlogmas was a fail, if you guys didn't realize that already, um, but that's because I got really, really sick during it, so it was, like, impossible for me to film, and also, like, I'm a college student, so my life is not that exciting, like, I just feel like if I did daily vlogs, you guys would be like, this girl is so boring, like, literally, because all I do is, like, go to class, go to the gym, film, like, hang out with my friends, like, I don't know, it's just... I'm not like an adult where like I feel like I have like more of a life, I guess, I don't know, like, I spend a lot of my time in class and studying, and like, that's not really fun to watch. So I don't know about daily vlogs, but I would definitely do weekly vlogs if that's something that you guys wanted to Harley see. Harley KB asked me, have you ever met anyone famous besides yourself? Okay. Well, first of all, I don't consider myself famous whatsoever at all. So let's just disregard that. But um, as far as have I ever met anyone famous? Yes, actually, it's a very strange story. Um, but I have actually met Ari Ariana Grande a multitude of times in my life. Her grandmother and my grandmother are actually very, very close friends, like basically best friends. Um, if you guys know a lot about her background or anything, she's from a small like suburb of Miami in Florida, and that's actually where my grandparents live. So um, they live in the same town that she grew up in, and my grandmother and her dad's mom are best friends. So I used to, whenever I would go to Florida when I was younger, I would always hang out with her because our grandmas were together. Um, but that was like, the last time I saw her like I have not seen her since she actually became famous because the grandma that my grandmother is friends with is her dad's mom and her parents are divorced so she like lives with her mom and her like mom's mom it goes on tour like that grandma but my grandma's friends with her other grandma and her parents are divorced so she doesn't really see her as much so like the last time I saw her was literally like when we were like I want to say like five or six like way way long ago like I knew her way before she was famous or anything like that so like she literally probably would have no idea who I was like when she first became famous I was like wait that's the Ariana that I used to play with like when I was little my grandma was like yeah I was like oh my god like I literally didn't even like believe it because I barely even like remembered it but like if I explained to her like who my grandma was and everything then she'd be like oh my god like you're Kelly from New Jersey who I used to play with when you came um but yeah so that's like a totally random story but I have met her a multitude of times so like not anytime recently and not that she would have any idea who I am now that she's like a super mega star but yeah that's like my famous person story. Jen La X asked me dream vacation spot um oh my gosh that's so hard but I would really really like to go to the French Riviera, like the beaches of France or also Spain. Definitely like somewhere in Europe. Kelly underscore Raven 99 asked me, what are you going to school for? I am a double major in human resource management and labor studies and employment relations. It's like a mouthful. Um, but yeah, they're basically like two like kind of business management type majors. I don't really know what I want to do. I did apply to law school. You guys know that. Um, well, I don't know if I told you that I applied to law school, but I took the LSAT. So, you know, obviously I'm applying to law school. Um, so I did apply to law school and might want to be a lawyer. I really don't know. <laughs> and I'm a second semester senior. So like, I really need to figure it out like now. Um, but yeah, those are my majors and that's what I'm studying. And I do actually really love both Molly of them. Callaway's asked me, how do you stay motivated to eat clean? 
first of all, I don't eat clean and I, at least, well, <laughs> I thought I did and then you guys told me no, I was actually not correct because what I thought eating clean just meant eating healthy and I made a video about it and you guys were like, no, 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 like eating clean means that you don't eat any processed foods. Like, you know, basically if you eat clean, you only eat like meat, vegetables, fruit, like stuff that is not processed at all, like no granola bars or like anything like that. That's all like processed foods. Um, and I don't do that at all. I eat a lot of processed foods, like low fat stuff, stuff that has like no sugar in it and stuff. Like I know that's bad, but I do. Um, so I eat healthy, not clean. At least that's what you guys told me. Cause I didn't know that there was a difference, but apparently there is. So I eat healthy. And, um, as far as what motivates me to eat healthy, it's just like, it's hard like I don't really know because I love food but I actually like healthy foods like I like vegetables and stuff like I actually like the way they taste I love fruit like that's like my go-to thing but like I also love pizza and like candy you know what I mean so it's all kind of about that balance but as far as what motivates me to eat clean just your body is all you have like and the way you treat it will you'll see it later in life you know like you will live for longer the better you treat your body I honestly believe in that and that's kind of my motivation, I guess. I don't know, I wish I had a better Asha answer. Asha Playa 66 asked me, when did you realize you had a knack for creating makeup looks? How old were you when you started wearing makeup? How did you learn to do makeup YouTube mom yourself? Okay, so funny story actually goes along with this. I did not learn from my mom, definitely not, because my mom like barely wears any makeup. She wears foundation, mascara, and lipstick. I think that's it. <laughs> I'm like, no eyeshadow, nothing like that. So. My mom naturally has a much darker skin tone than me because naturally I'm like very, very pale. Um, where my mom's like natural skin tone is probably like me with this self tanner on. And so when I was younger, obviously I didn't wear self tanner and like literally I was in, I want to say like third grade and I would steal my mom's foundation because she had like a darker foundation shade and I would put it all over my face. So like my neck and my whole body would be pure white but then my face would be like really tan like my mom's. <laughs> and like I thought it looked good and I would like go downstairs and like be ready to go to school and my mom would be like, what is all over your face? And she used to have to hide her makeup bag because I would take her foundation and put it all over my face because I didn't want to be pale. Like literally, <laughs> I thought it was a good look, but yeah. So I had some like very bad makeup over the years, but I started wearing makeup very, very early, like in the third grade to the point where my mom had to literally hide it. But um, like, I guess I started wearing makeup like full time, you could say, um, when I was in like sixth grade. But again, it wasn't like a lot of makeup. I would wear like powder on my face and like lip gloss or something stupid like that. I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, I've always liked makeup, which is very weird because my mom, like I said, barely wears any makeup and is not really into it at all. I think it stems from the fact when I was younger, I was very artistic. I loved like drawing and painting and stuff like that. And I don't do that anymore. And as I got older, I kind of got away from that. And then I think it re like came back into my life and manifested itself in me doing my makeup. Cause it's basically like I'm painting, but just on my face instead of on like a canvas. Um, so yeah, I like got into makeup at a very young age and I don't really know. I guess I kind of self taught myself how to do it. GFIRST721 asked me, how old were you and Steven when you first started dating? So we first started dating when we were sophomores in high school. So we would have been, we were 15 years old when we first started dating and we're both 21 now. JMW2001Jazz asked me, when will you do a room tour? Um, so I don't really know, probably not anytime soon. I don't wanna lie to you guys, just because when I'm at school, I do live in a studio apartment, but I do have a roommate. So I don't want to do a room tour because it's not just my room and it's all just like one big room. So I kind of have to show like her stuff. And um, you know, she's not comfortable with that. And that's like totally fine. You know, it's just like weird because it's not just my room. So I don't think I would ever do it here. And my room at home is like, not even like really my room not it is my room but there's like nothing in it because i live at school so eventually when i move home from college and i'm back like in my house at home and like actually have all my stuff in my room at home then i will do a room tour so you know probably like over the summer it's honestly it's gonna take till then just because i don't really have a room to tour you guys in as per right that now shit danny said brush sets are expensive if you could only choose three which ones would you say are must-haves that is hard oh my god um Okay, this is really hard. <laughs> I'm trying to think now. Um, I'm like literally looking at all my brushes. They're like all in front of me and I'm trying to decide like which ones would I choose. I guess I would definitely choose the 
Mojo Beauty Synthetic F9. This is a flat top kabuki brush. You can blend out your foundation with this. So I would choose this one so I could apply my foundation. Then I would choose this Mojo Beauty Fluff E1 brush. This is for contouring. I love it. You can actually also dub this and use it as an eye brush as well, but I've been using it recently to contour. It just gives a really nice, precise line. So I would definitely say this one just because you can use it to contour and also on your eyes. And then last but not least, I guess I would probably choose my Mojo E5 Tapered Blending Brush. It just looks like this. This is an amazing blending brush for your crease area. I just love this brush. I literally use it every single day to blend out my eyeshadow. So I guess if I only had to pick three, those would be my Shay three. Barrett asked me, if you could only use one beauty product for the rest of your life, what would it be and best childhood memory? Okay. Um... So if I could only use one beauty product for the rest of my life, again, it would probably be the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I just love that stuff. And it just makes your face look flawless. So I could deal with like not having eyelashes or eyebrows if I had a flawless face. So that would probably be my one beauty product. And then my favorite childhood memory, I don't know. I guess I would have to say every year, um, this is like a reoccurring memory, I guess, because we do it every year. But every year, my family has a big like family reunion down in South Carolina. And it's always really, really fun just because I get to see my cousins that I love so much. Um, and like my whole family is just together. And that's kind of the only time where like all of us are together. So I guess that would be my favorite childhood memory is just being down. Amber there. from Love Beauty asked me one thing that you cannot live without and also pet peeve. Okay, so one thing that I can't live without, this is gonna sound super cliche and like super like, oh my God, is this girl serious? But honestly, it's you guys. Like doing YouTube has changed me so much as a person and just being able to do this and have you guys watch me is like ridiculous to me that like anyone gives a crap about any of this stuff that I'm talking about. Like it just literally has changed my life in so many ways and I don't wanna sound like sappy and stupid and annoying, but honestly like, I can't really picture my life without it anymore. Like it just is such a big part of my life and I love it so much. And it literally just has changed my life in more ways than you guys will ever really know. And I just really don't think that I really could live without you guys. So you're literally like my favorite thing. And I love just sitting down and talking to you guys like this and stuff. So that would definitely be one thing that I could not live without. And then as far as pet peeves, I have a lot. <laughs> um, I'm not like even gonna deny it. I have so many pet peeves. Oh my god, like everyone bothers me. Like you literally, ugh. I like everyone knows. Like oh my god, Kelly gets like really annoyed really easily because like everything bothers me. But I'm trying to think of like one that's like a huge pet peeve of mine. Um, I guess I would say my biggest pet peeve is people that try, like they're like those people that always try and make everything like a competition and like always make themselves seem like better and turn everything into like a competition like one up everything and I hate those people like can you just be real for one second like please and like stop thinking life is a competition um that would be my biggest pet peeve I could do a whole video on my pet peeves honestly because I get annoyed so easily which is one of my like bad traits I know that um but yeah I guess if I had to pick one that's like a huge pet peeve of mine and I just feel like I know so many people like that and it drives me nuts so, so yeah, my camera is about to die. So I feel like that is my camera telling me to shut up because none of you guys are even watching this anymore because this video has been so long. But I thank you guys so, so much for sending in questions. Like I literally just can't even believe that you guys give two craps about me answering anything or even have questions about my life. Um, so thank you guys so much to everyone that answered and asked, I mean to everyone, not answered, to everyone that asked questions and um, you guys are just truly amazing. So. Thank you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do another Q&A and I will be sure to do one very soon. Be sure to follow me on my social media, like I said, so you guys can be part of my next Q&A if you were not part of this one. And I will talk to you guys very soon.